this is Julia Waldorf, JuliaWaldorf.com. Will you marry me? Will you marry me? <laughs> well, yes, I have this marry me button. And I thought I'd tell you what I think about marriage, all right? First of all, when I was married, I enjoyed it. It was all right. It was good. You do have a kind of like a sense of stability. Do I believe in changing your name? No. Do I believe in adding your na a name on? Yeah, anybody, you, I get married to someone, they can take my name if they want. <laughs> we both take each other's name. That's an idea, right? Yes, I, I do believe in that. They, we'll, we'll add on names, just so he adds my name on, or I don't know, just whatever it is, it is. But, um, the marriage thing. Let's see. What I believe in marriage is uh, not the norm. I believe marriage is a broken thing. It doesn't work. It is a problem. You're saying divorce is a problem? No, divorce is not the problem. Divorce is the solution to the problem. And, and the problem is marriage. Marriage is structured wrong, totally wrong. Marriage is structured where people, uh, people fight. <laughs> and then you have to come up with a solution, which is divorce. <laughs> so, so why don't you just structure it right in the first place so it doesn't become a a bloodbath or torture or money thing, you know? Um, and, and what I came up with is this. The three, five, seven year plan. So if you go three, five, and seven, that's 15 years. So what you do is you go, okay, honey, we're gonna get married and I love to get married, so let's sit down and plan out for 15 years where we're gonna be, what we're gonna be doing, what does it look like? And I guess it matters what age you are, what it'll look like. You know, when you're younger, you may want to have kids. Or you may not. You may want to go travel around the world first and then settle down and have kids. Or not have kids at all. But you sit down and talk about kids. And you talk about how many kids and, and things like that. And also, um, um, you talk about who, you know, what kind of education you guys are going to get or, or whatever. There's just so many things to talk about um, when you're getting married. Because you're making a commitment. You're actually saying, I'm committed to you. I am committed to you. I'm going to tell the world that I love you so much that I'm committed to you. We're partners. We're partners. So you get married um, um, because you want to really tell the world you're partners. And there's a lot of legal things with it, too. If you're not married, and, and uh, I guess there's hospital issues out there, which is a problem. That's why the gay people want to be married, the same sex partners, because of the paperwork and... and it benefits for their spouse and their jobs and stuff like that. All this stuff needs to be discussed. So yeah, um, get, plan this out. Write it down. Hold it up and put it away. And then you sit down and go, okay, let's get real. Where are we going to be in three years? Three years. Let's say what we're going to be doing in three years. Whatever that may be. You write it down. And if it doesn't work out, it is null and void. And you also discuss the finances of how that's going to look too. And if it doesn't work out, you already have it figured out. So it's a, 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 a null and void contract. You don't have to involve attorneys if you decide to split up. It's not the dirty word, the big dirty word divorce. It's, hey, it just didn't work out. No big deal. Um, it's already uh, it's a prenuptial renewable agreement where then, lo and behold, if you still like each other and you go, okay, well, let's do it again. Let's get married again and invite and have a party again. Maybe get married on the beach the first time. The second time you get married in the mountains. Hey, that sounds like fun. So, um, and write it down. Where are we going to be? What are we going to be doing? And then after five years, then you go, okay, it's been, enough, it's been eight years. Do we still want to continue? Go seven years? Okay, let's do it. And you write it all down and you get married and do it again. Right? And then after the seven years, get married again. And it's, it's forever, because if you can hang out for 15 years and you still like each other and you communicate it through the whole marriage, it all is good, yeah, hang out longer, get married, and, and just it's, it's, it's forever and ever and ever. Um, if not, then it's null and void. It's simple. I also say don't, you know, your marriage license is your marriage license. You don't have to have a marriage license and record it. You make up your own marriage license. And, and don't record it. I say don't record it because if you want to file um, taxes together, um, go ahead. And then that creates where legally, you know, if you file taxes together, at least in the state of Colorado, you have to get a divorce, which is totally ridiculous. Um, I 
believe. So you might as well file separate if you have the 357 in your plan. Just a heads up on that. <laughs> um, but yeah, you know, grab a priest and get married or a minister or, or your best friend. And you say your vows with all your friends and say, yes, we love each other. We're getting married. We're a committed relationship and we're going forward and we're, 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 we're loving life. And I think it's good. Um, but don't get the government involved. Don't record it because why? You know, um, if it's null and void, you don't have to involve any attorneys. You don't have to involve anybody. You just already have what is arranged, and you try, call it a day, and go go on. Um, that's how partnerships are, are structured. They're they're like, okay, we'll go this far. Great, it, it worked or it didn't work, but there is an out. So with marriage, it is a partnership. So when people don't um, do what they say they're going to do, and or or do what they portray they're going to do because <laughs> because that, that happens too. I mean, personally, I've been married a couple times, and the last one I said no, I can't, I can't, I just can't do it. <laughs> and um, I do believe in being married and staying married for the kids if if it's not abusive situation. But if it's abusive or there's alcohol and drugs involved, that that it becomes abusive and it's not a nice scene, yeah, split, you know, split. But. But yeah, marriage is, is a, a good thing, um, and uh, don't don't get the government involved. Just be married. Three five seven year plan. I believe solves a lot of issues, a lot of problems. Communications is a good thing, and everybody knows where they stand. It's all good. So thank you for watching, Julia Waldorf, JuliaWaldorf.com, and have a wonderful day. Ciao, ciao.